This is a quiz that was given on alcohols, thiols, amines, and ethers in my class. And here is the uh, grading scheme as well as the explanation for the naming. So the instruction was provide a name or draw a structure for each of the following. So the first molecule has a cyclopentane ring with an alcohol, a vinyl group, and an isopropyl group. The alcohol has the highest priority, so we number it 1, 2, 3, and the name will be 3 isopropyl, 2 vinyl, cyclopentanol. That question is worth eight marks. In this one, we have an ether with two cyclohexyl groups, so we would call this dicyclohexyl ether. Four marks are awarded for that question. Uh, this molecule is containing a chlorine atom, and it's a it's an ether. There are a couple of ways you can name it. The first is to call it uh, an oxaheptane. Not to be confused with oxo. Oxo is the prefix that's used for naming ketones when they are of lower priority than something else in the same molecule. But when you have oxa, then it's an, one of the ways of naming an ether. So we call this 4-chloro-3-oxa-heptane. And notice how we count the oxygen atom as though it were a carbon. We include it in the chain. Another way of naming, naming the same molecule would be to call it a an ethoxy Sorry, one chlorobutyl, one chlorobutyl ethyl ether. You could also call it ethoxy, uh, one chlorobutane. That one was worth six. Uh, number four, we have a sulfide. An al uh, so it's the uh, sulfur analog of an ether. There's an allyl group on one side, so allyl looks like a vinyl except with an extra elbow. And then there's an isopropyl on the other side, so we call it allyl isopropyl sulfide. That was worth four marks. This long chain molecule has nine carbons in it, two hydroxyls, an isopropyl, and an iodine atom. Uh, so it's a diol, the highest priority of the alcohol groups. So they're occurring at the second and fourth position. We start numbering from the side that'll give the lowest numbering to the highest priority groups on the molecule. So this is 6 isopropyl, 8 iodo, 2 4 nonane diol. That was worth 11 marks. The next molecule is an amine, but because each of the, uh, not all the groups are the same, we have to call it uh, systematically as an NN diethyl. Here are the two ethyl groups butanamide. We don't count this as a carbon in bond line notation. The first carbon is here. So one, two, three, four. There are four carbons in the longest chain of the amine. Oh, and I just noticed this is this should be... No, this is wrong. I put butanamide. I meant to say butanamine. But what's written here should be... Um, should have a double bond at this position. NN diethyl butan amide. If it's called an amide, it has to have a carbonyl next to the nitrogen. Sorry about that. Uh, the, se the seventh question is try isopentyl amine. Isopentyl has five carbons in it one, two, three, four, five, and it flares at the end. It forms like a little Y. And um, just like isopropyl would. There are three of them attached to a nitrogen atom, so we call this triisopentylamine. Four marks for that one. Uh, the next molecule is called 4-cyclopropyl-2-iodo-5-oxa-nonanol. So the alcohol group is the highest priority here. Uh, there's a cyclopropyl group, an iodo group, and we say 5-oxa because there's a, a ether in the molecule. And the longest chain, again, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Notice how I count the oxygen as though it were a carbon atom. So this is, uh, the iodo is the second position, cyclopropyl at the fourth position, and there's the ether oxygen. The ninth molecule, that was worth, by the way, f uh, five marks. 
the ninth molecule is 3 ethyl aza cyclohexane. Aza is used when a nitrogen atom is included in a ring. We start the numbering here, and at the third position, there's an ethyl group. So there's our ring with the ethyl at the third position. The tenth molecule is 3 bromo, 2 open bracket, NN dimethyl amino cyclohexanol. So the highest priority group is the hydroxy group, followed by the amine, followed by the uh, bromine group. So we number one, two, three. The NN um, qualifies the position of the methyl groups. There's two of them, so it's NN dimethyl. We open a bracket uh, and we say that at the second position all of this is present. So the NN dimethyl amino is at the second position on the ring, the first position being where the hydroxy is. And there's our, there's our molecule. There are six marks attributed to that. The total for the whole quiz was out of 55.